please consider liking the video and subscribing. Let's begin. It's been about six months since I did my last Fortnite collab dreamless video, and since then the Fortnite collabs haven't stopped. Also, the game hasn't stopped boosting in popularity, collabing with many different artists across music, and introducing a giant collaboration mode of LEGO. So, in this video, I wanted to once again throw in 10 more collabs I want to see in the game, and also what fans want too. These aren't ranked at all, they're just put in a 10 list. With the new icon skin out and nods to Epic's other games, and even classic movies, Epic isn't slowing down anytime soon. Also, let me know down below what collabs you'd like to see Fortnite add to the future, because at this point, anything is possible. So let me know down below, I'd love to read them. Alright, let's jump into it. But, before we get into other collaborations, I wanted to see how many collabs from my last video were put into the game. Out of these 10, only one was implemented, which is the one everyone wanted the most. Peter Griffin was put in the game. It's kind of funny how the day after I released this video, it was put in the battle pass. Heck, even the day of, I remember when I uploaded it, I think it was about three hours after, I was scrolling through Twitter and the trailer leaked. I remember seeing Hypex and Fire Monkey tweet about it. And I remember being, oh my god, Peter Griffin's in the game? That was really cool. Other than that, with rumors of the boys potentially being a future collaboration, as right now there isn't any solid evidence to back that up. I mean, it's still believable because Fortnite does not care about putting violent characters in the game, I mean, clearly. Jason Voorhees is going to be collaborating with them, I mean, supposedly, because of a news reporter who said he was going to be in Fortnite. I believe he did make a mistake because I think he was talking about multiverses, but I do think that with this year's Fortnite event, he will be getting a skin. I mean, we got Michael last year, so why not Jason this year? As for the others, there was a brief explosion of hope for a while when people believed that One Piece was going to be collaborating with Fortnite. The reason people believed this was because many credible leakers were backing up information about the potential collaboration. And well, here we are, many months later, and a collab never happened. And there's no evidence to show that a collab will happen in the near future. I do think it's definitely possible though, but we'll see. And as far as the others I mentioned, there isn't any news about them, but I hope FNAF does have a collab with them when the sequel to the film releases. Please, I still have hope. Okay, now let's jump into more collabs Fortnite needs to do. With one of the most popular franchises of all time, it's kind of weird that Despicable Me, aka Gru himself, or even the Minions aren't in the game. I think that it is bound to happen, but not anytime soon. A collaboration would have already happened or would have been announced with the fourth installment of the franchise releasing on July 3rd of this year. So the skins could be Gru as the main one with his wife Lucy Wilde, and for the backlings, I mean come on, you already know, the Minions, the big three, Kevin. Stewart and Bob. With each elimination, they say some gibberish or just freak out when you're taking damage, and something funny I feel like you could do is every time you get a kill, they make like a fart noise or something. Plus, an emote idea I had for this collab is that one similar to the Llama Cadabra one. You know how the llamas surround you? Instead, for this, the minions walk around you and they go bee doo bee doo with a giant alarm and megaphone. I think that'd be pretty funny and unique. And for the final skin in this collaboration, it would have to be the fan favorite villain, the best villain of the entire franchise. Vector would be such a cool skin. It'd be funny, and I know people would go absolutely crazy. I think that a cool built-in emote for him is him saying, Oh yeah, that'd be funny. And finally, with every collaboration comes some sort of weapon, mobility item, or just item in general to represent the collab. I'd say for this, it'd be a mythic weapon. It'd be Gru's Freeze Ray. This weapon would freeze enemies if they're hit with it consistently, and would freeze them for about maybe 2-3 to three seconds. Let me know down below what you guys think of this collab. Now, for this next one, I have Avatar, a movie franchise that somehow is still going strong despite being a hiatus for like 80 years. Now, I know that a while ago this tweet from Sheena got people talking and hoping that Avatar and Devil May Cry are two collabs that people have wanted for such a long time. And honestly, I'm surprised that it's taken such a while to put them at least one of them in the game. But I think Avatar will come sooner. Don't worry, Devil May Cry fans, you'll get it eventually. The skins could be Jake Scully, of course, and Natiri, two very iconic characters from the franchise. Now, what could be done here is that on the Fortnite map itself, you could have some sort of area from Pandora, the world of Avatar that it takes place in. It could be the Tree of Souls, this nice, beautiful place could be added to the map. Another collab idea I had for this could be where the Banshees could either be a glider or it would be cool with different selectable styles or something even more crazy is where they're actually on the map flying around or nesting somewhere and the player would have to approach them and tame them and they'd work like the helicopters we had a long time ago. If someone shoots them down then they dive and when they crash they do damage to the surrounding area. That would be really cool. A character that would work well as a tier 100 skin or a skin in collab in general is Spawn, a very popular character who absolutely makes sense in being a Fortnite. The man has guns on guns, plus Spawn has many different versions of himself. Not only could we have a base Spawn or other styles too, like maybe Medieval Spawn, Gunslinger Spawn, and maybe even a special Fortnite only Spawn, kind of like how Wolverine Zero was for the Marvel Fortnite collab, perhaps a Spawn Zero skin. That'd be amazing. And as for his glider, it would be his cape that's both the glider and the back bling. It would seamlessly fly in and drop in, it's kind of like the Cube Queen's glider. The only difference is that everyone can use it. You know, the one thing I kind of don't like about Fortnite is how they lock items or gliders for one character just for characters, for example, like Mjolnir. And only a couple characters can use it, like I get it, but like still, come on. Anyway, as for the mythic weapon, it could be his chains that would be able to work kind of like the grappler, hit enemies but also bring them closer. They'd be like the chains of Hades, just way more OP, and as they should. I mean, come on, it's spawn. Just like you do for him, I think that when you get shot at, they'd protect you for a short while. 
Finally, an emote that could be cool is where a fire portal spawns under your feet and that giant hand of Malbogo reaches out and grabs out and infuses the player with its power, making their eyes glow green. Let me know what you guys think of this one. For the first anime collaboration on this list, it's an extension of a previous one, Jujutsu Kaisen, as we know had a collaboration with Fortnite a while ago, and now fans, including myself, have waited for a Wave 2 to drop, similar to how they did with My Hero Academia, but here I would love if Wave 2 was the enemies of the show, with four skins, Geto, Mahito, Sukuna, and Toji. Now, they would be such cool collaborations, and people would absolutely lose their minds. This is a very well done concept I found on Reddit. Shout out to them. Here you have the full sets. As for the ghetto skin, two styles. One where his style is a student, and the second where he's evil. His back bling is the sealed Gojo, which is very cool. Second here, you have in this image, you have Toji, which is probably my favorite of all these. Both his styles are great. Third comes Sukuna, close second. Now, some people said that he should have been a transformed built-in emote from Yuji to Sukuna, which I agree, but still a very cool skin nonetheless. Finally, Mahito, which I find funny that Anonymy Backbling is here. Really bogus, but like I said, it is funny. I would love if these guys were added into the game. As for the mythic weapon, I feel like it could be Sukuna's fingers, as crazy as it would be. If around the Fortnite map, his fingers were scattered, eat enough of them, and depending on how much you ate, you would get stronger. Imagine people's reactions to the characters eating his fingers. It'd do well for Fortnite's publicity, and for sure have people talking. I do see this happening in the future, but hopefully not when Jujutsu Kaisen Season 3 comes out, because that'd be way too long, but we'll see. For the next collaboration, it could go two ways. Harry Potter, another giant franchise that I'm also surprised isn't already in Fortnite. But at the same time, eh, I get it. Like I was saying, first it could be characters we know from the universe, like Harry, Hermione, and Ron. It would be very really straightforward. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter, so I don't know any other characters beside these, but like I said, when I was doing research for this video, people do want these guys in the game. And for the fourth special fourth skin, it could be Voldemort as the villain in this wave of release. As for skins, like I said, I don't know much other characters inside these four. When it comes to mythics and items, oh, I got some stuff. So as far as mobility, we know that brooms would have to be obvious choice. I mean, come on, it's kind of, I want it to be separate from the Halloween standard broom Halloween animation. What could be done here is when we're wanting to use the broom, the player shows the golden snitch, and when we're traveling, it's in front of us. It's kind of like we're trying to catch it, but only for the flying animation. Once we land, we get it and put it in our pockets or something. Like with Avatar, the POI they can add is Hogwarts, and in this POI, we'd be able to get the mythic item, which is the wand, and with this wand, we'd be able to do spells and stuff. The second way the collaboration can be done is similar to the NFL and NBA skins, not putting in specific players or characters, but the default skins would be wearing specific houses like Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff, and you'd be able to customize them in any way you want. If you're a big Harry Potter fan, write it down below in the comments what would be really cool to add in this collaboration. This next one here is a little bit of a stretch, so I'll keep it brief. Being one of the least ones to happen here, we have Call of Duty, not just any COD, the COD universe. For this collaboration, it'd be very cool if we had Price, Ghost, Mason, Woods. Now, like I said, I really don't see this happening. Fortnite and COD never really do anything. I mean, I don't think they do anything in the future just because of the rivalry. I feel like because of Warzone, COD has to keep some things for themselves. So this collaboration is kind of like my random weird one. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's highly unlikely. All right, moving on to the next one. Moving on to number 4, it's the second anime collaboration, Gundam. Now here's where the potential is unlimited, because there are a lot of Gundam mechs. Now other styles could be some like the Strike Noir Gundam, Gundam Death Scythe. Now there's literally many Gundams that Fortnite can do. Now speaking of Gundams, COD actually collaborated with them a little bit ago, and now the skins don't look bad, but Call of Duty just isn't the place to do collabs like this. I made a video about the whole COD situation, check it out if you're interested, but I feel like Fortnite would definitely do this collab justice, like with any collab they've done. They really care about the fan base and what they're putting in their game. Now here's where things might get controversial. What if on the map we're able to use the Gundams as weapons and vehicles? Now I know this would be like Season X where the mechs are just OP and stupidly strong, but I feel like for a collab like this, you'd have to use some sort of Gundam. Anyway, this is something that I hope that happens in the future of Fortnite, and I hope that it definitely, because I'm ready to throw money at the TV if this happens. Godzilla. The only problem is his size. How would it look if Godzilla is just running around with a pump shotgun and drinking minis? I would love it if you were here, but that's the only problem. Also his tail. How would Fortnite manage to make it work? They could shrink him down, they shrank down Peter and made him more muscular. I feel like the design they'd go with for Godzilla would not be his MonsterVerse look, but instead his 1954 classic Godzilla look. Now it's not as bulky or big. Same thing with a lot of skins in this video, he could have a lot of styles with his looks throughout the years. Now as far as his back bling, I think it'd be pretty cool if it's his back plates. With every elimination, it can light up and glow blue. If they go with the current MonsterVerse look, then we can maybe change his colors around. We could go with a light blue, pink, and reddish orange when he's really pissed off. Godzilla would be a great collaboration, I hope it's done in the future. With the Fall Guys collaboration happening very soon, this idea could work. Now South Park, as we know is a very popular show with Fortnite collaborating with adult animation, this wouldn't be far-fetched. But here instead of the skins, it would be backblinks. Instead of the four main kids, they're small like the beans from Fall Guys, this could work perfectly. Kyle, 
Cartman, Stan, and Kenny. Each backlink will be each time you get an elimination, they say some of their lines from the TV show. That'd be really funny. As far as an emote, I'd say one where the player says the line, Respect my authority! A very famous line from the show said by Cartman. This collab would certainly have people buy it without hesitation. Finally, reaching our last dream collab for this video, it's Shrek. And now Shrek is yet another fabled collab fans have waited and wanted for years. Shrek in general is just a very loved character. Now, if you were here in Fortnite, I think that this is yet another peak of collaboration. Peter Griffin was the one we needed. Shrek, on the other hand, is the one we didn't know we actually needed. Imagine a squad of Peter, Shrek, and Rick and Bender. This collab would also break the internet the same way Peter did. Now, as far as to what specifically, well, Shrek and Fiona, backlings, could be Donkey, but he might be too big for that unless he's using an emote. As for the glider, it would have to be Donkey's wife, who I also didn't know was named Elizabeth. She would work as the glider, blowing flames as she flies. Plus, for the two skins, the variants for them could be where they're human forms, so Shrek is a human, and Fiona is a human too. I think this collaboration would be absolutely crazy and be really fun too. So there it is, 10 more collabs I think Fortnite should do. Now, if you have collabs that you'd like to see, please write down below in the comments, I'd love to read them, and you never know, if anyone from Epic is watching this, or Fortnite, the Mr. Fortnite himself, as he's watching this, please put one collab in there, I would love it. If not, hey, that's okay. I also want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I want to say thank you for the huge support of my channel. Please consider liking this video and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Peace out.